Welcome to another episode of Greater Bridgewater. We have hit the road and we are in New Hampshire at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, specifically at the dirt track at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, joined by Shannon Stevens. And Shannon, you are the vice... Senior Communications Manager. Senior, senior Communications Manager. I should have asked you that before, <laughs> before we hit the airwaves, but uh, we are here looking forward to 2022 race weekend in Loudoun in July. Uh, some activity going on here today at the Speedway and the dirt track more specifically, which we'll get into here a little bit later on in the show. But um, for those of you know those folks who might be watching who may not be familiar with the sport of NASCAR, auto racing, or even New Hampshire Motor Speedway, let's talk a little bit about the track itself. What is New Hampshire Motor Speedway and uh, a little bit of the history of it? Sure. Well, New Hampshire Motor Speedway opened in 1990. We've been racing here um, with the Cup Series of NASCAR since 1993. So we've been here over three decades, you know, enjoying fun, exciting events for New England race fans. Um, we actually opened this flat track here in 2019. So that's our newest racing surface here. Um, our big oval known as the Magic Mile, it's um, 1.058 miles. So it's just over a mile and that can actually be transformed into a 1.6 mile road course as well which offers you know motorcycles we've got motorcycles racing on there this weekend they use the road course sports cars use the road course um, and like you mentioned we have nascar here in july um, that's our big summer event and we also we're right at the tail end of motorcycle week which is every june yes it is it is bike week up here and a lot of motorcycles all around um kind of cool to see the the motorcycle aspect of things as somebody who doesn't necessarily get up here for mo uh, for bike week uh you know that often but um looking forward to not only the activities here today but also in july but why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself tell us about your role here at new hampshire motor speedway how long you've been here you know the uh the important info so we know who <laughs> shannon is Yes, so I am the Senior Communications Manager. I have been here since um, January of 2018, and I basically work with our media. So local media, um, national media, to get coverage for the Speedway and you know show them all the wonderful things we have going on here for race fans, and they share it with the fans. Um, so I also work with some of the drivers during our NASCAR weekend to um, put on publicity events and just promote the sport of NASCAR um, and promote our NASCAR weekend. And then during events such as Motorcycle Week, um, you know, again, just working with media and, you know, sharing, spreading the message of what we do here. And, you know, the team here works really hard to put on great events for fans. And we just want everybody to come and enjoy them and have as much fun as we do here. Absolutely. So um, coming up in July, we, we've obviously started to kind of foreshadow a little bit, but NASCAR weekend, the one weekend a year that the Cup Series and Xfinity Series visits uh, New England and New Hampshire. Um, got a couple of new things going on here this year. Let's uh, kind of dive into some of the new activities and fan amenities that are going to be going on here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Sure, well NASCAR weekend is July 15th through 17th and one of the biggest things that we're most excited about this this year is we're able to bring back um, Friday Night Dirt Duels event. Um, this year it's presented by New England Racing Fuel and it'll be right here at the flat track. Um, we had our first event of that at, to kick off NASCAR weekend back in 2019 and then unfortunately due to COVID we have not been able to hold any events here um, since, you know, for the past two two years and it's been such a bummer for the team because we were really excited about you know this new addition to our facility and the fans had a great time here in 2019 a lot of the even cup series drivers came down because they were here on property and we're just hanging out with the fans it was a really great atmosphere um, so we are psyched to bring that back this year um, it's july 15th tickets are on sale now at nhms.com We'll have the Dirt Midget Association, Sprint Cars of New England, and the U.S. Legend Cars all racing here on that Friday night. And then rolling right into Saturday, um, we call it our Double Header Saturday. It features the NASCAR Xfinity Series race, the NASCAR Wayland Modified Tour race, and we'll also have NASCAR Cup Series qualifying on that day. So that's a big thing this year as well, is there's more on-track action for fans to enjoy with the return of practice and qualifying sessions for all the major series. 
And then Sunday, certainly the headlines of the weekend with the Ambetter 301 NASCAR Cup Series race. Um, and we've got a lot of new fan amenities that we've been working on in the past couple years to open for fans. Um, one that we debuted last year was Rock Point. It's a new viewing area in turn four. It's got a bar there, lawn games, picnic tables. There'll be a DJ there this year and fans can just walk up, enjoy a great view of the drivers racing toward the finish line, which is always exciting. Absolutely. Now, some of the best racing I've seen up here now has been the last couple of years. Um, and you, you mentioned the dirt track coming back. I was here in 2019 for that. This place where we're standing right now, I kid you not, was wall to wall with fans. And you mentioned the Cup Series drivers being down here. You had Bubba Wallace who was doing photography, and I believe I believe Kyle Larson was here as well. It was quite a uh, quite a contingent of the uh, Cup Series guys, and just a great great fan event. So now also I hear. You, You've started to discuss some of the new fan amenities. I believe there's going to be some new stuff going on in the fan zone as well. Tell us a little bit about uh, the new activities in the fan zone. Yes, so we have completely revamped our fan zone and we are so excited to welcome fans there this year. We have this new fan hangout called The Groove and it's a high-end lounge for fans to enjoy. It's open, there's no cover charge. We are gonna have high top tables, comfy couches. It's really gonna be the place to be with your friends, your family, other race fans. We're gonna have nightly entertainment starting Wednesday. We'll have bingo night, we'll have trivia night, karaoke night with DJ Nazzy, um, which will always be a good time. We'll have the Flying Ivories um, dueling piano show, which I don't know if you've seen them before, but they are exciting. It is just a good time. We will also have um, the Elm City Party Bike, which is basically a pub on wheels. Oh, one of those. Yes, so we will have that available for people to sign up for in the groove all weekend. That'll be pedaling around. That should be a great sight to see. We'll also have um, concerts. We'll have a concert here after Friday Night Dirt Duels on Friday with Shot of Poison, which is a great poison cover band. And then our um, big show on Saturday night with um, Dirty Deeds, the ACDC, and they've they've been a fan favorite here, so we've kept them coming back. So they put on a great show on Saturday night. Excellent. So I, I think the next question I, I would ask, uh, uh, you know, to you, is if somebody hasn't been here before, the first time fan watching the show, or they've just been thinking about coming, why should they come to New Hampshire Motor Speedway? Well, like we mentioned earlier, I mean, our NASCAR weekend is the only chance to catch. Um, the NASCAR Cup Series and NASCAR Xfinity Series anywhere in New England. And it is just such a great time. You know, for campers, we offer nine nights of camping. Some people make this their summer vacation with their family and it, they have such a great time. The campgrounds open July 9th. Like I mentioned, we have our revamped fan zone. We're gonna have entertainment throughout the weekend, such as X-Pogo, which is extreme pogoing. Wow. Um, BMX stunt riders. We will have um, concerts, fireworks. We have bouncy houses. We have concessions throughout the place. We got family movie night on Thursday, which is always a great time. We have a lot of fundraisers for our Speedway Children's Charities, which it incorporates a lot of fun for the fans, but it also helps children in need throughout New England, which is always near and dear to our heart. Um, and it's just a huge party atmosphere. I mean, this is the place to be this summer. It'll be fun. Excellent. Now, we've got a couple of new sponsors this year for the race weekend. Can you tell us a little bit about, I believe it's Crayon 200 on Saturday for the Xfinity Series and Ambetter 301 on Sunday for the Cup Series. Tell us a little bit about the new sponsorship. Sure, yeah, we are thrilled to welcome both our new partners this year. Um, you know, Waylon on the Modified Tour race, they've been with us. They've been a great partner through a lot of years. I think almost nearly a decade a now. Um, so they're always great. We're happy to welcome them back. And we're happy to welcome Ambetter. You know, they first joined on with us last year for the Ambetter Get Vaccinated 200, the NASCAR Xfinity Series race. And this year they had such a great time, they decided to, you know, move up to the Cup Series entitlement, which we're super excited about. And then um, we've also got Crayon, which is a new partner for not only New Hampshire Motor Speedway, but Speedway Motorsports, our parent company. And they're going to be sponsoring the um, NASCAR Xfinity Series this, ra this year. So we're super excited to welcome both of them. Excellent. So we're plugging along here. Um, and let's just uh, kind of give one more plug to uh, for folks who might want to get tickets, learn more about the facility, uh, learn more about race weekend. 
how can people find out more about uh, the, the NASCAR race weekend coming up here in a couple of weeks? I think the best place to go is NHMS.com, our website. That is a comprehensive look at everything we've got going on. It has a whole fan entertainment page, so you can see all the entertainment acts that we've got lined up. You will have to scroll. It's a long one. There's a lot of information there, but it's all good stuff. We've got schedules. We've got ticket information. Um, we're currently working on lining up some driver appearances, so we will have live driver appearances throughout the property all weekend. Um, we also are bringing back Trackside Live, which is always a great morning show. With have Jose. some fun with Jose. Yes, yeah. everybody's favorite. So he'll have some driver appearances and just some fun stuff. He always has some fun activities with the fans and the drivers. So that'll be back Saturday and Sunday morning. But yes, all the details, including ticket information, camping information. If people want to come and camp, there is still some available. Um, NHMS.com is the place to go. And and you were saying uh, off air before we started that uh, ticket sales are pretty incredible this year, which is great to see after, you know, a couple of years where folks might not have been able to get out sure. and, uh, you know, everything that surrounded COVID. Um, it seems like the sport's really on its way back to uh, its dominance from that we saw back in the 90s and early 2000s and whatnot. So you definitely want to get tickets if you have not yet. NHMS.com here with Shannon Stevens. Any thoughts for uh, the viewers here in closing, Shannon? No, just again, you know, this is a great time and it's a lot of fun. You know, for me personally, working here has opened a passion for racing I never knew I had. And that totally translates into fans. And we have a ton of first time fans come every year. And then they quickly become returning fans because it is just fun. And we see every year groups who maybe have bought four tickets. The next year they're buying eight tickets because they're inviting their friends. And it's just a great atmosphere. It's a welcoming atmosphere. You know, new fans don't have to be intimidated. If you have a question or you don't have a favorite driver, so many people here, all the other fans will be, you know, right there to answer your questions. And, you know, it's just a great time. And we would love to welcome you to the Magic Mile. Excellent. So uh, Shannon Stevens here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. We are at the dirt track. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of footage elsewhere here throughout the facility so you can see. And uh, we're going to come back on the other side of the show and uh, maybe have another special uh, treat for you. Uh, you're watching Greater Bridgewater right here on East Bridgewater Community Access Media. Welcome back to Greater Bridgewater. I said uh, we may have a special treat uh, coming out of break. We've went down the street now from New Hampshire Motor Speedway over to the newly renamed New England Racing Museum. And we are lucky to be joined by the legendary racing gentleman, former Fox Sports Pit reporter, uh, CBS reporter. You name it, he's done it. Dick Bergren is our guest here. Dick, it's a pleasure to have you here. Well, pleasure to be here and have you on the show. Well, I'm glad you're here as well. It's a, it's a beautiful day to be in the museum. Cold day outside. We're warm in the museum, so we're having a good time. Absolutely. So for folks that may not have ventured up north here to Loudoun, New Hampshire, uh, and seen the museum on a race weekend or you know, just never been in the area, tell us a brief little synopsis of the uh, museum here uh, in Loudoun. Well, the museum itself was uh, built on a wing and a prayer, really. There were a lot of us who thought that we should have something that would capture the history of automobile and motorcycle racing here in New England. And when we had the idea, an awful lot of people said, this is never going to fly. But guess what? It did. It was all done on donations. Uh, some of it was from cash, from people who care about racing. A lot of it was contractors, local contractors. And it started with the well. Uh, in the, we were doing some site work. Bentley Warren was donating bulldozers and a man to drive them, uh, but it got to the point where it was just too cold one winter, and he said we should we should put the well in. So I shopped around for a well. We settled on Capital Well Clean Water. I said, how much is that going to cost? He said between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. I said, go ahead, dig the well, and here came the bill. 
for $12,000 with a note on it that said, don't pay this bill, best of luck. So the concrete that we're standing on was donated to us by EF Shea Corporation, and on and on it goes. Almost everything in this museum was donated. Uh, and uh, it's the donated money that keeps us going. And this is the only museum that covers everything racing, vehicle racing, in New England. So you've got many different vehicles in here, obviously. Um, tell us a little bit about how some of these vehicles came here, how you acquired them, the stories behind you know, some of them, maybe your favorites. If you've got about a 30-hour show, I can tell you the <laughs> stories behind the vehicles because there is not a car or a motorcycle on this floor that doesn't have a story behind it. And most of this stuff is on loan. We don't have a storage facility, so we try not to own cars. We would much rather borrow cars, put them here for a while, and then send them back to their owner. And by doing that, uh, we have an opportunity to show people new stuff every time they come to the museum. So we've got a half a dozen cars that have come in in the last couple of months that people haven't seen before. And, uh, so, and new pictures on the walls, new displays as well. So we keep moving it around. This is not a static museum. It changes frequently. So there's going to be some racing going on behind the museum today yep. at the dirt track. Yep. That's part of the reason we're up here. We ventured up. But um, for somebody who might not know the sport or, or really racing in general, what, what would you tell them to come get them here to visit this museum? Well, they, they'll learn uh, about the history of motorsports here in New England. And we've got an incredible history. Uh, example, uh, in Salem, New Hampshire in 1925, there was a track made entirely out of lumber. And it was a mile and a quarter around. And in 1925, they were going 140 miles an hour, ran only seven event weekends and wound up killing three people. That was the end of that one. Uh, New England also has the first ever purpose-built road course in the United States. That's in Thompson, Connecticut, 1952. The very first oval track race in the United States was in Cranston, Rhode Island, 1896. So you come to this museum and you realize that here's a sport that although it's national, even international in scope, a lot of it was founded right here in New England. Let's kind of flip the switch for a second and talk about the Cup Series and the racing that we're seeing this year with the new next-gen car. What are your thoughts? I, I, I just want to hear it from a, a great historian like yourself. What do you think of uh, the 2022 NASCAR season so far? Well, I think the 2022 season is just what we needed. NASCAR has stirred things up and done things that no one would have ever uh, imagined 10 years ago. So we started the season uh, in, in California, and of all places, the Coliseum, a little tiny, tiny racetrack in the middle of the Coliseum, but it was a heck of a race. And it, I mean, the fans came, they filled it. It had a great TV rating. So it was a good way to start our season. And NASCAR has been doing things that are really surprisingly out of what you might expect, putting dirt on an asphalt track, for example, uh, it, so we could see something different. Uh, moving to different venues. Uh, the, the tracks, the new tracks that have wound up with big NASCAR races have pretty much all sold out. So uh, it's going well. The TV ratings are there. Uh, the drivers are popular, except the ones the fans hate. And I think you got to have good guys and bad guys and drivers you like, drivers you don't like. And we got it all going on in big league NASCAR right now. And we've also got it going on in New England. There are a lot of smaller tracks, half mile tracks, quarter mile tracks here in New England. And, and they put on good racing on Friday, Saturday, or in case of Thunder Road, Thursday night. And uh, you probably got a racetrack that's within 100 miles of your house. So go to Google, see what you can find, and uh, I'll see you there. By the way, I'll, I'll be up in the top part of the grandstand with a hot dog in one hand, a Pepsi in the other. Excellent. Dick, uh, if people want to learn more about the museum here, how can they do that? Well, go to the website, nemsmuseum.com, uh, and, and you can start there. We have a book called A History of Auto Racing in New England uh, that's available at coastal181.com. That's a very good way to find out about it, and then come to the museum, and you'll, you'll see and hear the rest. If you want a guided tour, come to the museum and just ask for one. And uh, we're all volunteers. This, this deal has only got one employee. All the rest of us volunteer. Even on my shirt it says volunteer. Uh, and uh, we'll take you around and tell you the stories of the cars and the engines and the uniforms and the helmets and the trophies and all the rest of what's here.
Excellent. Dr. Dick Berggren for the New England Racing Museum. You got it right. A new one. Uh, joining us here on Greater Bridgewater. We're, uh, we're going to take a little uh, tour around and uh, go from there. So thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you. And definitely come visit the museum if you're in the Loudoun area. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're here. Excellent. Appreciate it. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Greater Bridgewater. Uh, had a lot of fun up here in Loudoun, New Hampshire today at New Hampshire Motor Speedway with Shannon Stevens from New Hampshire Motor Speedway and a short jaunt down the road to the New England Racing Museum with the legendary Dr. Dick Berggren. Of course, had to rock one of his scally caps uh, similar to what he wore back in the day on Fox Sports and CBS. Uh, I'd like to thank Greg Eaton, our cameraman, and of course East Bridgewater Community Access Media uh, for providing the uh, equipment to film up here. Uh, hopefully we'll be back with you soon for my crew, Greg, EB Cam, and everyone involved, Dick Berggren again, and Shannon Stevens. I am Miles Heger saying sayonara from New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Thanks for watching.